Welcome to 734 Games, and this is Game Time. And this is your host, Tom. And before we get started with the fun stuff, my nephew is getting cancer treatments. His GoFundMe is down there in the description. Check it out. And let's get started with this episode of Game Time with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Tokiwa. Okay, so here we go. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is a game from a company that we all know from software. Now, from software has a very long history of games. This game was actually published by Activision, so we'll say that just to give just to give Activision their due. But we all know this is the brainchild of From Software. So let's see what else From Software has done. Now, a lot of people like to call games like this Souls like. I think that's an insult to this game because one of the only reason that From Software did the Dark Souls games or those and, and, and Bloodborne was because for a time games like Sekiro were not selling in the United States. So they had to make a dumbed down version of that produced for a Western audience. So that's where we got the Soulsborne stuff. Now, as a developer, From Software has done a lot of different style of games. But the games that they're known for, especially here in the United States, are their Dark Souls games and their hard action ninja games like Sekiro. Now, I don't want to call Sekiro, like I said, I don't want to call Sekiro a Dark Souls game because Dark Souls is more of a knockoff of games like Sekiro that From Software did. From Software, they published the Tenchu games and they did one of they, they developed one of them themselves. But they also developed Otagi, and that's a great series for Xbox. And that's a series, if you can't get it, if you have an original Xbox, you need to get a hold of it. Otagi, Myth of Demons. They have, they have, they have, there are two games in the series, and those games didn't do that well in America, but they were awesome games, and they were really well rated. And they're a lot like, basically, they're like a lot like Sekiro. They're basically like, almost in a way, they're almost prequels to Sekiro. But, I mean, obviously, different stories. And I would say that the characters are a little bit more on the supernatural side. You have that supernatural element to this game, to Sekiro. But in those games, they definitely went a little heavier with the supernatural demon fighting ninjas sort of thing in those games. But those are the Otagi series is really is a really awesome series. And of course, From Software is known for Armored Core. But a lot of you will know them for their really hard action games that have RPG elements. Because I have a hard time calling their, you know, Dark Souls and even Sekiro RPGs. They're definitely more action games with leveling trees. But I love the Sekiro so far. The gameplay is really, is, is really well done and really well implemented. Basically, what you have is a really hard, fast action game with one-hit kills. That are pre It's pretty awesome. I mean, everything about the game, the attention to detail. When you kill an enemy and blood flies everywhere, it's great. Everything they do in this game really, as far as gameplay, really works. And you don't have the clumsiness that you have with Dark Souls games. It seems like those games are, the, 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 the characters are, when they do a heavy attack, the, the heavy attacks are clumsy, they're slow, their dodges are, are garbage. I'm not a big fan of Souls likes, but I am a big fan of From Software's original style action, you know, RPG ish action games that they do you know uh, you know in, from asia the the more um like sekiro and otagi those games are awesome and the game this game is obviously no exception i'm sure you've heard about it if you're on the fence about this game pick it up i mean if you play this game you'll probably never want to play a soulsborne game again because 
you'll be ruined for those games. Those games basically suck compared to this. Now, with all that being said, let's get let's talk about the story in this game. The story in this game is basically there to progress an action storyline. Now, it's done very well. They do a good job of it. But this don't expect the high drama that you have in, say, Ghost of Tsushima. That's a more, I mean, the, the drama in that game is a lot more serious. And this game is just, is mainly to progress this action storyline. And, you know, to, to get you to the next area. I mean, there's interesting little droplets of story throughout the game. It's well done. But it's, it's, it's not the type of story. It's not, the story in Ghost of Tsushima was a little bit more, obviously, on the realistic side. In this game, you're, you're basically a supernatural undead ninja who comes back to fight other undead things and other ninjas, well, actually other sam samurais and ninjas and whatever you come across. So that's basically how this game is. And it's an action game at heart, and it stays true to that. And if you remember that, then you're going to have a good time with this game. This is not like your, your deep Ghost of Tsushima style, you know, high art action sort of, you know, storyline. So you're not going to get that here, but you're going to get some good action and a, lot, and a lot of blood and some really cool enemies. And that's pretty much it for this episode of Game Time from 734 Games, where gaming is alive. <laughs>